I, uh, I just left uh, Gigi Book, which was the most amazing place. Just this tiny little shack, dirt floor I slept on, and uh, the guy made me, uh, made us um, a big pot of uh, meat curry. I don't know what, what, what the animal was, but um, it looked pretty fresh. I was a little bit worried about getting sick, but it's uh, I'm perfectly fine this morning, so it was good. He also gave me this big slice of uh, yak cheese which was mostly rind and covered in dirt and dead, didn't really taste of anything but cardboard, um, which I felt a bit, kind of wanted to throw away, but I didn't want to hurt his feelings, so I ate the whole thing. It was, um, wasn't very nice, but I'm uh, alive this morning and I haven't been heaving overnight, so it's all good. So I'm on the way to Chimtang, which is a slightly bigger town, so it should have some actual guest houses. I might be able to get a proper room to sleep in rather than sleeping on the floor. And um, yeah, it should be, uh, Maps Me is only saying it's sort of four and a half hours at the moment. So um, yeah, I should be there before midday at 6.30 now. So. Maps Me app says that this day is only going to be four hours, but I think it's going to take a little bit longer than that. I just got to the top of this hill, and the downhill section after it is a full 1.1 kilometers elevation drop. So I think Maps Me is assuming I'm going to be running down it, but um, I very much doubt it with this path. So we'll see how long it takes. I'm at the bottom now of this one kilometer vertical descent valley I've been trekking down all day and we're up at uh, five hours now. It was supposed to take four hours for the whole day but five hours and we're just to the bottom. We've got another 500 meters vertical climb on the other side so um, we're going to be a little bit longer. I've got a nice uh, Ascension Bridge here over the Arundanda River. We're really low here, it's 1,800 meters. This is one of the lowest points of the whole trek, I think. And if it wasn't for the roar of the river, you'd be able to hear cicadas and all sorts of insects. I saw some cool uh, lizards earlier. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a very different environment to higher up. So um, yeah, I'm going to get up there, uh, hopefully 500 meters will clear up some of this humidity a little bit and uh, very much looking forward to my bed tonight. Chim tank turned into a bit of a disaster. Um, despite its size, it doesn't seem to have a great selection of guest houses. In fact, I was asking everyone I met where there was a guest house and they're all sort of beckoning me, beckoning me on this way. Here it is in the distance over there. Um, and I seem to have just kind of popped out the other side of Chimtang. I'm now walking along the road 
on this Jeep track towards um, a little place that some uh, American NGOs have assured me there is a guest house. Um, there may well have been a guest house hidden somewhere in Chimtang, but it was so vertical that it was just uh, exhausting to, to sort of explore and nobody really knew what was going on. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna push on. This is the same uh, direction that I would be hiking tomorrow anyway. So I'm, uh, I'm just making tomorrow smaller, shorter. Well, I just arrived at this perfectly lovely guest house in the little village of Lingham. And I shall stay here tonight. I might have a rest day here tomorrow because I haven't had a rest day in a while and I am pooped. So yeah, I'm just gonna get something to eat and go to sleep.